On the third day of Christmas, a fortnight gave to me three cat dicks. <laughs> talking about Christmas traditions, which is fantastic because despite the fact that I am very, very not religious at all, Christmas is pretty much my favorite time of the year. And, and then I'm just, I was here to tell you about one of my favorite Christmas traditions, which was decorating the Christmas tree. And a lot of the ornaments that you see on the tree behind me are actually from when I was a very little girl. Um, somewhere on this tree is an ornament that says Baby's First Christmas 1982. And um, as you can see, my, my Christmas tree kind of looks like a rainbow puked on it, but every single one of those ornaments has a story behind it. So when I put my rainbow vomit Christmas tree up, one of the things that I really love is the stories that come out. Um, especially since I've been an adult, I get to kind of relive my childhood. And then there are all these other stories, like this... Christmas pickle. That I got the year of my very first Christmas tree all by myself. And then I have a Christmas moose. And he comes from my very first Christmas in Minnesota. And then uh, there was a period of time when things were really tough in my life. And uh, that was the year of this ornament. Because that was all that I wanted for Christmas, was just a little bit of hope. And then this year is Peter's and my first Christmas that we are truly celebrating together. Last year I got from my family a very fancy M to put on my Christmas tree, and so this year we had, uh, we had this to pair with mine on the Christmas tree, which is of course um, something that's really special. It's completely corny but really special. So food's a big part of my family traditions. We eat the same meals on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day every year. We love to bake cookies together. This year was my first year doing all my Christmas cookie baking on my own. And so I spent this past Sunday in the kitchen with Peter's son for the entire day baking cookies and listening to Lincoln Park. And it was amazing. So, and we got cookies that look like this. Is that the yummiest chocolate, chocolate chip cookie you've ever seen? The answer is yes. It's a secret recipe, and they are so good. Um, I'm going to eat this when we're done, but I'm not going to eat on camera because I'm polite. So, I have a lot of Christmas traditions, actually. Um, Christmas has always been a time of year for family in my household. So Christmas has always been about treasuring that family, especially because the circumstances, it could have easily been that we just were people who lived in a house together. My family definitely is a chosen family. We had to work at it, which is one of the reasons I treasure any time that we can really sit around and, and spend with one another so very much. I know that Christmas is not the only time of year when you should let the people you care about know that you cherish them, but it helps. I think you you have some time off work. People slow down. There's uh, you know, there's social gatherings where you see people you don't just get to see that often. Uh, so I'm gonna take this moment to say in my Fortnite video that I love Christmas. Um, it's an amazing time of year. I hope that you are able to take the time to tell your loved ones how much you appreciate them. You shouldn't only do it this time of year, but um, take some time. Just in case you were wondering, I thought you should get a little zoom on my uh, cat dicks. We have some cat butt gum, uh, a zombie cat decal, sweet. I think I'm actually totally really gonna put that on my car. And a little cat window decoration. So that would be three cat dicks. And I'm not telling you the story behind that. You should have come to Chicago and hung out with the Fortnite.